Hi, I want to show you the new features of the new Turtle Stitch with the Needle version. One of the most important is the way how you define a line. You use a move command and add it into the coding area. You say you want to move for 200 steps if you want to have the turtle jump for 4 cm. You see that it just did it, but that this jump has no intersections. I will show you in a minute how you can make the intersections. But first I want to design a star. I add a tur the turn command right after the move command and I say 160 degrees. After that I'm going to the control category and I'm looking for a repeat loop. It's right here. I put it here and I add the uh, move commands, uh, the motion commands right uh, into the repeat loop. I add a reset command which is very important in turtle stitch. You regularly take a reset and set it right beside of the code you're just designing. You reset and you execu execute your code and uh, in this case the star is drawn. Okay, I reset again and I make the star. There are no intersections uh, in the long distance lines. And so there is this new category embroidery that we just added. I go into the, this category and you see a big variety of different embroidery stitches. I take a regular running stitch and put it right in front of the star that I just coded. I reset and I execute it. Oh, and great, there are the intersections in the long distance lines. It's uh, small stitches as you know it from a regular sewing machine. If I don't want to have these uh, regular stitches, I can also decide to take to use a zigzag stitch and put it instead of the running stitch. I reset and execute it with the zigzag and the star is uh, drawn quite differently. I add a satin stitch now instead of the zigzag. I put it in front, I throw away the zigzag, I reset and execute it with the satin stitch. Oh, this is a pretty dense stitch as I see and this leads me directly to one of the next or very important features, it's the X-ray feature right below the stage. If you check the arrow you get a display uh, which allows you to see the uh, the density of the pattern. This is very important because uh, embroidery sh machine cannot embroider everything uh, what you generate or code on the computer. So it's very important that you regularly check the density with this x-ray function. I uncheck the arrow and have the regular display again. Now I want to add a uh, a word or uh, something uh, below this star and this uh, let me uh, already uh, show you the next feature that we added it's the jump stitch i want to have this turtle jump to this position uh, right a little bit uh, of the left of this star below and i need to jump stitches. One that uh, tells the turtle to start jumping and one that tells the turtle to stop jumping. So I take two jump stitches. This one stays, says start jumping and this one says stop jumping. I go to the control and I'm looking for a starter block. I say when number one is pressed start jumping. And then I say go to, I go to the motion categories, say go to X and Y. Then I go to the sensing category, I'm looking for a mouse X reporter and for a mouse Y reporter. The, these reporters tell me where the mouse coordinates are if, my, if I put my mouse into the stage area. I go to this position, but then I see that the turtle is looking into that direction. I want to have the turtle looking towards the right side again, and I go to the motion category, and I say point in directions after it has jumped to the new X and Y position. I say stop jumping, 
and I want to have a text drawn there. I say text, draw text, and I want to have with a needle written there in the size of 40. I don't want to have uh, this white satin stitch. I want to have a smaller, but a satin stitch too. I add the satin stitch with a width of 6. And I think the coat should be finished here. I go to this position with my mouse and I press the number 1. Oh, and great, voila, with a needle is written just below the star. Have fun!